There will be a runoff election to decide who will be Atlanta's next mayor. City Council President Felicia Moore advances to the runoff as expected and will likely face City Councilman Andre Dickens in the November 30th election. Now that was a twist. Felicia Moore joining us live this morning. Good morning, Madam President. Good morning. Congratulations to you. That title could be changing soon. Have you even had a chance to think about the runoff and possibly facing off against your council member, Andre Dickens and friend? Well, of course I did last night. I shared that with uh, my supporters and so I'm ready to go. All right, you look ready to go too at 6.15 in the morning. Tell us <laughs> what is going to be the key to victory. I know you talked a lot about public safety, transparency and accountability. Where are you gonna hit over the next three weeks to take that victory November 30th? So we're gonna stay with the same message uh, because public safety is the number one threat to our city right now and the one to one issue that everyone is concerned about. So we're gonna make sure we reach out to our base and we're gonna to work to expand it. Now, with more than two decades in public service, serving the city of Atlanta, a lot of people, you know, really surprised by saying, you know, this could possibly be your time, but we still do have that big group of undecided voters out there. They showed up in big numbers yesterday for you and your campaign, but what do you have to say now to those voters this morning that they have to sort of look again? They thought they were gonna be looking at you and Kasim Reed, but they're looking at you and Andre Dickens. What do you have to say to them? Well, what I want to show them is my breadth and depth of experience, uh, the consistency I've had as a council member and as a council president, and just my track record of service. And so that's what I'm going to be communicating, because now that the field is narrower, uh, there can be more focus on some of those details so that people can understand, as I have served, of this city when there are issues I have stepped up to the plate time and time again on ways to resolve it. This time I'm asking to step up to the chair of being the CEO of the city so I can get those things done. And now what would you say will be some of the key differences between you and Andre Dickens because now we have to look at the two of you over the next three weeks. What are some of those key well, the differences? Key differences will be you know again my experience Having been on council for the time that I've been, I've been there in the good times and the bad times. I've been very consistent about my policy making and votes that I've had. And I've, you know, I've been a author of many pieces of legislation. And that's what I want people to understand is that, you know, I have really worked to set policy that has set the city in a greater direction. And so I'm going to be emphasizing those points to other citizens. All right, well, here we go. We're pressing reset over the next three weeks, getting ready to go again. We wish you the best of luck and thank you so much for joining us today. We're going to have the results for several other big races here in Atlanta over on 11alive.com, and we can also send them straight to your phone if you like. That's real easy. All you have to do is text the word result to the number you see right there on your screen. That's 404-885-7600.